Hello, you all. It's Agnes coming to you with the project that I've been literally occupied most of the day today. And、um, I was just so happy. We tried painting on the glass with sassies in a club. And now I was like, okay, why don't I try something? And I did want to create something with the napkin and、um, some painting on the Dollar Tree、uh, plate. But as you can see, I started wrong because I forgot. And this is a good thing for you. That、um, whatever you add to your plate on the outside portion, because obviously I do want to be able to put some food on it or some kind of、uh, produce and serve it. Hopefully, it's going to come out good. You do want to paint on the outside, and、um, whatever you paint, this is sort of like layering the paint. And I do not know if you ever done it, but it's fascinating. So of course I'm bringing my stripes and I'm going black and white. So obviously I've done it all around. Now I'm just trying to go and make sure that my stripes are、um, nicely, you know, and solid and black. And I'm of course I'm going to now dry it a little bit to make sure. And then my goal now is to paint them over with the white acrylic paint. Of course I'm not using any special paint over here. But、um, I'm just, you know, learning over here. So here we go. It didn't dry properly the second take. So I'm painting it. So the good thing is about painting the on the glass is that any mishaps, obviously, you can wipe it off. And look how pretty that came out. You can wipe it off and you can clean it. So I've got myself a stripes. So now. There will be no project that I'm making without not adding the gold. So I decided to add the little rim all around that,、um, all around those stripes that I was just painting, and then maybe add another one right in the middle. So I'm telling you, it is super fun project. Okay, so my rim is almost done, and and I always say is I will be calling it. It's better. This one is going to be my left side. The left side is not going to usually、um, in anything look too good, but、um, uh, we're going to try to make it look good. So、um, I just finished my first coat, and then I'm going to obviously go over again with the second coat because. I wasn't doing the wide of a strip, so you know some paint didn't catch up, and I do wanted to make sure that it shows nicely on the right side. This is my left side again, and all what I can tell you is when you finish, and you may be thinking right now, oh, my hand is not steady. It really doesn't matter at this point because、um, you can always go back and take the、um, tougher look at that rim. See how pretty it shows up. So now、um, you can actually get the、uh, sorry, you can get the、uh, paintbrush, and like look what I'm doing right now, making it really wild strip, and it really does not cover perfectly,、um, you know, my glass. So I know I would have to go back. But what you could do is to clean it up, is to go back with the wet paintbrush, and、um, you know that obviously that it's stiff,、um, and wipe it all out, and everything all of a sudden becomes super smooth. See, this is what I'm doing. Doing right now, I'm cleaning my edges now before I go with the、uh, second coat. Second coat is applied, and now it's time to clean it all out as much as you can. And it's again、uh, not that I'm rushing, but I was so anxious to do another step. So. Here I go again. I was thinking at the beginning to go with checks, but you know what? I decided、um, that may be taking too long, and it's just you know me. Look at me. I cannot even、um, mark it all off. I decided to take my、uh, painter tape and mark my spaces and create the stripes. I should have actually created a bigger one. And now look what happens as I pull this middle divider for me to have、uh, um, to middle stripe to for me to have a you know nice even space. I pulled some of the gold paint. So guess what? I'll go back and paint it all over again. Obviously, I'm not using the.、Uh, um, I'm not using the uh, uh, the glass paint material, but you know what? Nothing is unfixable here. So I'm trying now to stick my、uh, tape so it is shorter, so it doesn't pull.、Um, I do not know if I'm happy about it, but you know what? <clears throat> well, 
I'm learning and I do want to share with you. See, here we go. I pulled it up again. So I do want to for sure uh, uh, fix my stripes before I'm going to continue the gold stripes before I'm going to continue with the design here. So my straps, my stripes are fixed. I adjusted my lines a little bit and I'm painting, of course, first with white. trying to have fun here as much as I can but my paint is not covering that well but you know what obviously I would have to like with everything that I've done so far do the couple coats and as you can see it's my lines are not I mean my tape is not um, attached to all to the end but you know obviously I can fix this later and paint it free-handed it but um but it's easier at least that portion so as I'm telling you I'm so anxious to just see if everything works and I've never done this before like that. I mean, we've painted in, in, in the club with sassies, but uh, it was nowhere near what I'm doing right now. But you know what? It's raining. So I'm creating my own sunshine and trying to have fun and keep my mind occupied. So um, second coat goes on and obviously you have to dry in between, um, in between the layers to make sure that you are not going to pull um, your uh, paint out and see and I'm some areas pulling it off and I know even though I do have the uh, tape some of the areas are not going to come out uh, completely clear because I was so worried about um, sticking the tape too you know really tight to pull my gold stripes there's no way I'm finishing so let's see what I have let's pull the band-aids out well, it's not that bad, but um, yeah, it could have been better. So again, I have to go and clean it up because those empty spots are going to be black. You see how awesome that looks? Oh my goodness, the stripes are sort of cleaned up. Now I'm going to the black department <laughs> and I'm trying to paint my black stripes. And notice that, and I constantly um, keep forgetting that now I can actually paint over my uh, white stripes a little bit because remember, I'm doing the work on the left side of what I <laughs> we're going to see. I'm telling you, this this whole process of painting on the glass and trying to create designs, it is just something that I just so happy about and super um, anxious to keep on trying new things. So I know, Sassy, get ready. We're going to be doing lots of things with this. Second coat goes on and obviously it is again, don't be upset over here. I'm doing it on the left side. And my goal is now I'm debating, do I cover this with uh, with the black paint all around or do I just cover it with white? And because I do want it to sort of hide and do not want it to, my plate to look as bad on the back. So um, look, it looks actually pretty good. So you know what, the, this I decided and I should have actually asked you guys, but you know what, this is me. I'm like on my own trying to figure things out by myself. So all what I'm doing right now, I decided to paint white, including the black, because now the black is going to become, become solid and, um, and it's going to actually show nicer, I think. I was afraid that if I'm going to use the black paint, the black paint may actually destroy my white. Obviously, there is going to be a lot of drying happening right now and a lot of cleaning because I really do not mind that I painted over the gold stripes or the little strips that I've created on the left side of my plate. And I do want to make sure uh, to tell you this because they are not going to show. All what is going to show um, is the right side. Hopefully, it is not going to be too wonky. So I'm trying to make sure to dry it all nice and it looks actually pretty good so now look at this i'm going to put this napkin right on this on the outside so um at the beginning i was thinking why don't i just use the entire napkin and cover the whole thing um with it but the napkin is so pretty that i decided to cut the strips and um and just simply use the uh the floral pattern right where i did not do anything oh my goodness this is going to be so pretty um so i decided to just cut the strips uh, of this and um and decoupage it right on the side of my plate so here i go again you see because this is so pretty and I, I really hope that i do have another one 
as I always say, is when you try something new and when you play with decoupaging or new things, and if you, like in my case, do not have uh, a napkin, you know, that, you know, I mean, not the napkin, that you do have the area that it's very narrow, you use the napkin that it's forgiving, right? So, um, because it's easier, it really doesn't matter how the pattern ends. So now, as you can see, is I've, I've cut the strips because obviously I do not want to deal with the wrinkles it's easier and I'm going to um, use my surround wrap to smooth all those wrinkles out and apply piece by piece and I am actually as you can see is overlapping my napkins or the strips that I'm creating because it really does not matter there's so much happening on it that I am really positive it will not show that this whole thing was installed in pieces So sure, as I was doing all this and waiting for things to dry, because I do not really even myself use too much of the dryer, I made, we made the pretzels, we made the chili, we ate it, <laughs> we, we had fun. But you know what? And in the meantime, I am just coming and quickly decoupaging things or painting or drying or whatever I'm doing. But um, my goodness, I am so excited. And as I am actually having so much fun doing this project today, I decided that I'm not going to really worry and wait again for all of it to dry. So I am going to remove the access of, uh, of my napkin. Guess with what? I'm going to actually fire it up. We never tried firing it this up on a plate. Well, let's just hope it's going to work. So I just wanted to make sure because that's another tip when you use the fire you got to make sure that you do have oh my goodness this looks so gorgeous um that you do have a um <clears throat> Oh, what's the name which you do have a mat patch on every single edge just to make sure that the napkin is not going to burn through because th th this is not that i would want it to take out again so i'm going to cut the ones that over overlap um really badly um on the uh, on that strip and i am already so anxious to fire it up but now look at me here goes the fire and I do want it to control it and I do want it to see this is how comfortable I am that I'm literally putting my finger right on the fire. <laughs> Man, how exciting my project was. I cannot wait to hear um, what you've been doing, how you kept yourself busy. I mean, most likely you did have a pretty weather, but you know what? I'm keeping myself hot over here <laughs> in the kitchen. So look how awesome it goes. <clears throat> see and now the reason why i'm touching the fire and i'm not trying to tell you go ahead and do it uh, control i was trying to control because in some areas i most likely did not add enough of the mat patch right to the um, edge so um the napkin was just burning um a little bit on my edge and i did not want that to happen even though i do have another step to cover all this but, um, but again, I, I do not want to create myself more work. So I'm going to remove a couple of those layers right in the center. And I decided to use my ply from the same napkin to make it all nice and smooth. So here I go, adding more Mod Patch right there. I'm smoothing it all out. And to tell you the truth, because it is a see-through material, um, it is all good. So there are... Um, there are another ways that you could do it. After you mat patch, you could actually paint the entire plate one color to make it um, all nice and smooth. But you know what? I'm not. I'm going to literally forget about that step. <laughs> I'm going to just simply make this nice, um, um, shiny sort of porcelain-like looking uh, bottom. But you know what? I know I'm not done, and I know I will be doing a lot of more projects with the Dollar Tree plates. So I will for sure try to find a napkin that I will be comfortable painting the back of it. The one I'm using right now was on the lighter side. I so hope you are still with me here looking at this project because there's still a couple things that I need to do and I really hope that you are sprinkling it my video away because it is really fun projects to make and I actually do enjoy project. Oh my goodness, this plate is gorgeous. 
So um, again, guess what? I'm going to bring my fire again because, well, I did not decoupage it just to bring the fire, but yeah, I did. So um, if you really do enjoy what you're looking and you still lasted that long, and I would say a good 10 minutes, because even though I did speed it up, it is a longer video. I so hope that you're going to sprinkle that video and you're going to um you know share that with your friends and now look at this the fire do it for the fire <laughs> no well look at this it's actually super fun technique so after all this done um i do i am not going to actually uh put the sealer on the back that it's going to make my bottom of my plate super glossy and it does not really look as bad obviously it does not look as professional but guess what this is my first project so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, remove some of those pieces with my um, with my um, nail filer, even though I did decoupage, but there's so many layers. I mean, it burned it out. So now I'm just going to um, add my liquid gold and um, on the edge, and it's not going to be visible right on the uh, um, you know front of my plate, but it's going to nicely finish this off um, on the edge. So when it's sideways, it is going to have that nice edge. So everything seems to be very smooth here. So I could not be happy to see how all lines up with uh, my charger and another plate and another plate and maybe I'm going to create another design. My goodness, what a fun project I got myself involved this weekend. <laughs> So I am right, going to actually stop with this um, a project right now because I do want everything to dry nicely and I am going to use my DuraClear to add that extra shiny gloss on the back of it. But uh, now check it out, the Dollar Tree plastic charger and a plate from the house. Oh my goodness, look how awesome that looks. And it, my connections are not visible at all. Well, the lines are maybe wonky here and there, but you know what, forgive me, this is my first project. I am super proud of it. The way it looks, the way it, it all came out together. What a fun project I literally created to myself. And now look, I can either leave it right in the middle of my table. I absolutely love what I was doing today. And I really hope that I inspired you to um, go ahead and pick those clear plates and have fun with this. Again, there's some errors here and there, but you know what? It was fun to make. So I really hope that I inspired you and I hope that you did enjoy and you lasted till the end to watching this video. And again, I hope to see you later today. Thanks for watching. Bye. Don't forget to sprinkle.